Welcome back to Zilaka, everybody. On the previous episode, we said that we were going to get some... Well, we got to get a baler because we have that straw on our field over there. Got to get that baled up. And we also need a rake so we ain't going down, up and down those rows way too often. I got a worker going down on the other New Holland there. And then we're going to get a rake. And then we're going to get that... I think we're going to go with the uh, small baler and that autoload trailer. Like I said, this gameplay is kind of going to be a, a small little uh, playthrough, if you will. Not going too crazy with... Whoa, 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 look at that. <laughs> he just ran over that car. Hmm. So there's nothing in the sales today. So what we want to do... I kind of was looking through the rakes. Let's go through those. We'll get the rake first here. Uh, best bang for their buck is going to be the K brand here at about 20 grand. I think that'll do us well. It's got a nice working width at eight and a half. So let's go ahead and purchase that. There's no customization options on that. Very low power requirement too at 35. And to make it easy, we do want an auto loader. So we are going to go with the FAR. And then we'll turn on auto load with the, if we go to combinations here, a lizard auto bale trailer. Oh, we can do any color here, so let's pick something. Let's do John Deere green, I think, with the yellow on the rims. Something different. Maybe it's kind of out of place for our selection of tractors right now, but whatever. It'll get beat up as we use it and uh, worn. We'll get our baler hooked up here with the wagon. Send this back on a worker. And then we'll take the rake down and we'll get started with the New Holland. Kind of not matching our baler, but that's all right. It makes it interesting, I think. Let's see. we will bring it right here. I almost did kind of want to go with one of the hay and forge pack uh, mergers, if you will, or a rake that they had in that pack, but... They're pretty expensive compared to the bang we're going to get with this rake here. It's nice and wide. There's going to be some nice rows, I think. And then we only got to go down. Well, once we wouldn't have to combine. If we get one of those small mergers, if we did get one of them, we would have had to have gone twice. And it would kind of probably get a little old. All right, so we just lower here and looks like it should just merge. Like so, we'll do two rows into one. It'll be nice and easy. It should make our job a lot more streamlined. Damn, there we go. Got her all done. Yeah, it's a very nice rake. I think we picked a good one here. Where are we going to put it? We do need to get some more sheds. Uh, let's see here. There is plenty of room in that, that other shed there. I suppose we could put it over there for now. We could always shuffle things around later. I think the next thing on our list, we're going to want to get few more new sheds down there and then we do have to get a a bigger uh, weeder or actually probably gonna get the hoe so we can get the big weeds yeah there's room in here we'll just set it in here for now but we do need to get a spot for everything that we have so it's nice and tidy around here let's see we'll just set the tractor here for now and here is our baler for those who don't know, I have used this baler once before in a previous episode. It was actually the very first series of the channel here on YouTube. It was Fruling. That was kind of a small little farm too, which was kind of cool advancing with that. Let's see, we need to 
hold and I believe just start her up like so it's quite old and we do have to turn the operating position on for our auto load and we'll see what happens here as we go and we got nothing so let's back up here second and figure out what's going on oh we gotta drop it down right yes that was the issue there we go now we're off to the races try to stay somewhat in the center here these rolls actually might be kind of big um or this I wish this header was a little bit wider but I think even if we would have went with the small baler uh, in game this still wouldn't have been wide enough either we'll just get what we can and we'll probably just cultivate up the rest Trying to figure out where these are going to sell to if it's going to tell us. Straw. Farmer's Market in January. So yeah, we're going to have to find a spot for these bales to offload these. Off to the side somewhere. And go from there. Alright, I think we're gonna go with that. I'll finish up this row here. I don't want to get too crazy trying to pick up all these crumbs. I mean, I suppose we could. But we're kind of gonna end up being here all night if we do that. Let's just see if we can unload this baler. Get the rest on there. Yeah, I was pretty surprised by uh, how much this wagon holds. I didn't expect it to be that many layers. But it did us well. How does this feel before we roll out? pH value is okay. That could be uh, worse once we um, discarrow it up, but we'll have to see here. I think what we're going to do... I suppose we could leave this last little bit on the wagon here. I'll just unhook our wagon, leave it there. We can take the baler somewhere else. Uh, we do need another shed. Get rid of this useless shed. We'll just park it right here for now. I think I don't want to make it too much of an effort to uh, keep doing bailing in this playthrough. This is nice to have something to bail it up. How much are we going to get for that, by the way? 11,000. Yeah, it's, it's something, but it's not like crazy. How's our chickens doing? Halfway. So what I think we're going to do is advance. And then our root crop is probably going to be ready... Soybeans won't be ready till later in the year, but we do want to plant. We had scheduled canola in our oats field there, so we got to get on that next month as well. So what I think we'll end up doing here is we'll uh, rest, and I think we're going to set off some workers. It is August, ladies and gentlemen. It does say ready to harvest. So all our fields for our uh, root crop are ready to go and we can start getting these processed into uh, in our preserve factory and get some more jars made get those ready to go for sales so we need to start making some more money so we can start uh, some improving here on the farm so what I think we'll do is get a worker on our this carol put them off and then we can go ahead and get a field or two of our root crop going while they're taking care of business 
over there. Yeah, that weeder's gonna have to go, I think. We're gonna have to get something different. For our weeds. But again, that's next year. That's probably actually should be our next priority, I think. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's, uh... Let's go around the headland here. And then I think we'll end up setting this off on a worker. How is our levels gonna be after doing this? pH value is still okay. We probably almost should start... Oh, it says good here. Maybe we'll go one more harvest before we add lime in again. Alright, we'll set them off here. Shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. So we got the best workers in town. We'll get the harvester here for a root crop. I don't know if we're going to do them all on this episode. We might do just a couple rows, I think. And then we'll do a couple more on the next episode. We probably should get that canola planted, maybe, but we might do that on the next episode as well. Alright. Got the D-Wolf Harvester here. Now the nice thing about this Harvester, it does have a... Ooh, let's try to get it out of here without hitting everything. There we go. It does have a hopper on it. So we can set a worker off right away while we go get the other tractor with our wagon. Which is very handy. We'll start, I think, here with the beets closest to the road. Like so. Pick her down. And we are off. Let's hire a worker. Looks like they're going to try to go for two rows. Fresh cow crop coming on in. I'm trying to think of what our next move is going to be with the uh, root crops. I do want to get another bigger field and we... I probably won't do the rolls like this again. We'll just use a big one so we can mass produce some uh, root crop and get going with that so we can make a lot of money. It was an interesting experiment to do the four rolls. I think it was very good in the beginning, especially when we had to drive by the uh, picker there. and It's kind of a slow process, but now with the hopper it ain't so bad. And we can get the uh, wagon and everything else while he's still picking. I do want to buy a couple new tractors eventually. It was that new pack that they released, that uh, Farmall, was that Farmall pack? Anniversary pack. There's a new C series that I want to get, and then with also that Hydro tractor would be cool, I think, for this playthrough. But we'll work our way into that. No rush. Like I said, we got to get a weeder first and some buildings up, and then we'll kind of go from there, I think. Let them come down, turn around, and we'll see where they're at. We're still having issues with the workers here. It actually says it's complete, and it's not. It's only half full here, too. So I don't know why that worker had issues on the end. It might have been the double row. We try to get him on a single, I think. Try that, that's a little off. It might get stuck again because he shifts over. We'll see what happens.
right, ladies and gentlemen. So I think what we're going to do is end up stopping there. I'm going to leave this tractor right here so we're ready to go for the next episode. Shut it off. We'll take this on up to the preserve factory. Dump her in, get her activated here. Our worker over on field 45 has completed the uh, disc harrowing on that field. So I think on the next episode we'll get a cedar started. Actually, we'll probably use the same tractor. Might as well get the seeding started so we can get our canola in that field. So that can get... Because it's, uh, we actually have to get it planted. Well, this month or next month. We could do it next month too, but... Let's just get it in there, get it rolling, and we'll have to get all that uh, fertilizer and all that good stuff. And then we'll see kind of where we're at. We're going to get a little bit more money this year, get some buildings up. Let's go ahead and start this production chain. We got beetroot. We ended up with, let's get this refreshed, 19,500. Pretty good. Get those going. We'll get the carrots on the next episode, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.